Hi, welcome to today's presentation. Today's question is on volume and surface area of solids. So the question we have here is, the figure below shows a flower vase. The lower part of the vase is a cylinder of diameter 8 centimeters and height 12 centimeters, while the upper part is a frustrum of a cone with a top diameter of 20 centimeters and a slant height of 15.6 centimeters. So just as shown in the diagram. Part A, calculate the height of the vase. And then part B, taking pi to be 3.142. Calculate correct one decimal place, then from one, one, the volume of the vase, and finally, the surface area of the vase. Well, for part A, calculate the height of the vase. The first thing I wish we take note of here is that if we continue with a line from this point to meet the top diameter at 90 and also draw another line in a similar manner, then the distance from this point to this point should be 8 centimeters, which is the diameter of the cylindrical part. Now, if the whole of this length is 20 centimeters, then subtracting 8 centimeters will be left with 12 centimeters, which is shared by these two sides. So this side here should be 6 centimeters and here also. 6 centimeters. Remember we are interested in getting the height of the vase that is from this end to the top. The first thing we can let this height here be x. So if that height is x then getting x we'll consider this right angle triangle. Using Pythagoras theorem we can therefore say x is equal to the square root of hypotenuse squared which is 15.6 squared minus the base squared and that is 6 squared and when you work out this we'll get the square root of 207.36 of which x is 14.4 centimeters and from here, we can therefore calculate the height of the vase. And that means the height of the vase will be equal to the height of the cylinder, which is 12 centimeters plus the height of the frustrum, which is 14.4 centimeters. And this in total is 26.4 centimeters. Moving to part B, we're told taking pi to be 3.142, calculate correct one decimal place, the volume of the vase. Now, in order to determine the volume of the vase, we have the vase in two parts. We have the upper part is a frustrum of a cone and the lower part is a cylinder. So we'll get the volume of the frustrum plus the volume of the cylinder. Now the volume of the frustrum, so we have the volume, total volume is the volume of the frustrum which you obtain by having a third times pi times the height of the frustrum into r squared where r is the radius of the upper part that is the bigger radius plus r squared and this other r is for the lower part that is the smaller part and then we will add these to the product of the ready and then that gives us the volume of the first term 
and then we'll have to add that to the volume of the cylinder which is given as pi r squared times the height of the cylinder. Now for this first part we have a third times 3.142 times the height of the first term of which the height is x and we'd gotten it as 14.4 so we have times 14.4 into r is 10 so 10 squared that is the diameter of the upper part is 20 centimeters and the radius is 10 plus the radius of the lower part is 4 and therefore 4 squared plus 10 times 4 that is 40. This will add to the volume of the cylinder which is 3.142 times the radius squared and the radius is 4 therefore 4 squared is 16 times the height of the cylinder which we have as 12 just as shown here. Okay working out all these We'll have to get 2955.99 cubic centimeters. And because we are asked to write this correct one decimal place, this is 2956.0 cubic centimeters. Finally, for Roman 2, we are to get the surface area of the vase. Now, in order to determine the surface area, again, let's look at the parts of the solid. We have the first term and the cylinder. Therefore, we'll first begin by getting the surface area of the first term. And the surface area of a first term is given by pi into r plus r times d where r is the radius of the upper part and this is the radius of the lower part d is the slant height of the first term and then we'll have to add that to the area of the base of the vase this lower part and that is given by pi r squared and finally we'll have to get the surface area of the curved part of the cylinder and that is 2 pi r h. Now doing our substitutions pi is 3.142 times r we had as 10 and this other r is 4 and then the slant height we have here as 15.6 centimeters so that is 15.6 and then we'll have to add that to the other part 3.142 times 4 squared which is 16 plus 2 times 3.142 times the radius of the cylinder which is 4 times the height of the cylinder that is 12. Now when you work out all this from my calculator I'm able to get 1038.12 square centimeters which again when approximated we get 1038 point one square centimeters that is correct to one decimal place as had been required in the equation and that is it for this question thank you for watching hope to see you in the next video bye